Okay, I think we are live. Let's go check Facebook to be sure. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in here. Yes, we are on and popping. We are live. We are live. I can see us. Come on in Let's wait. here. Let's see if we'll get a couple of people before we get started. How are you, Sugar Plum, while we wait around? I'm good. How are you? I am fan-fucking-tastic, even though there's a goddamn blizzard for the fourth time. I am fantastic. Are you fantastic? Girl, yes. Oh, we do got some people. Hey, y'all. Hey, Ebony. Hey, Leah. Okay, so, yeah, girl. Leaving the chiropractor, driving back home was a bitch. I fucking hate Chicago, but you know Ooh. what? It is what it is. Ooh. It is what it is. Ooh. I know, girl. But you know what? What I love about Chicago is that I can be a fat girl because we have all the most delicious food. So, <laughs> <laughs> so at least okay. while you're stuck in the house, you can eat good. You can eat good. You can have yes. good food. I'm gonna have all of the food. Have all of them. Delicious foods. Okay. Um. Don't forget to mute your your phone. Let me yeah, let me mute you. Let okay. Mute. We got a few people on, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So welcome everybody to the very first episode of the Vixen Memoirs. Hey y'all. Um, so I'm Mickey. She's going to call me Karen. It's okay. I am the same person, but I prefer to be called Mickey. I'm gonna and call this you is my baby. I'm going to call you Mickey. Are you? Yes, I'm gonna work Thank on you. for the first time. Thank I'm you, like, baby mama. Thank you. <laughs> um, so this is my baby mama, my BFF. Um, you go ahead and introduce yourself, honey. I am Crystal. We have been friends since I was 17. I'll be 40. Woo! 23. Oh, girl, time. Woo! A long ass time. A long ass time. Long hey, ass Lulu. Long ass stories. So, yeah. So, we, um, just to get a little backstory, uh, we met at NIU. Um, and I feel like from our immediate friendship, we just ran into a lot of stories with a lot of fuck boys. So, we have some things to share with y'all. Uh, <laughs> but we also want to allow our watchers, male and female descendant stories, because we know it's some fuck girls out there too. So um, definitely we have an email address, askavitson at gmail.com. I think Crystal said we actually got an email so far, so she might bring that up today. Um, but yeah, we're just here to, to kick the bobos, talk some shit, have a drink. We hope you guys got your drinks together. Wait, did y'all, um, and Crystal, did y'all make y'all drinks because Karen and I had a heated debate on if women drank bourbon and whisk, scotch, all of those. So the fact that everybody chimed in like, yeah, yeah, scotch, whiskey, yeah, I'm going, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. So you guys really do drink hard, hard liquor. So hopefully you have your fuck boy bourbon lemonades ready to go. Yes, and um, just so you guys know, I, I'm not really big on mixed drinks. Um, I like margaritas, but for the most part, I drink my bourbon, my whiskey, my scotch. I drink that and my tequila on the rocks, or I drink it straight. Is that bourbon, Chilled, so. is that bourbon straight? Ma'am, it is on the rocks, so it's not necessarily straight. And it's my basil Hayden. <laughs> I cracked this bitch open. I've been saving this baby for a minute. It's a special occasion. So, um, so I poured it open to hang out with the PMU family. But yes, this is on the rocks. I, I don't like to mix shit. Mm. <laughs> Tanisha says, brown look, it tastes like the time I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but did you die, Tanisha? Did you die? You all right. You made it. Tanisha, what um, you drinking? <laughs> since you're not drinking bourbon, what are you drinking? Please come back over to the rum and the tequila and the vodka with me, please, because Karen got me out here, I don't know, drinking bourbon on a Monday night. I mean, I guess. It's a blizzard. I guess. You know what? We ain't got nowhere to go. Right. We're home. 
You're right. Pour up, pour up. And you know what? This is actually great. Hot toddies are perfect when you think you might be coming down with a cold. Ask Usher. Um, so I'll do it. Drink your bourbon. <laughs> it's delicious. It's fucking delicious. Um, so we're gonna move on though. To get into some shit. So before we get into some stories, we just want to talk about some things that we kind of noticed in the group. Um, so a little bit of pop culture. So it was Valentine's Day, right? Did, did you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, Sugar? Uh, no. And let me say why. So I stopped celebrating Valentine's Day. It will be nine years this year. And I'll tell you why. Last time I celebrated Valentine's Day, that celebration produced a baby. You know what I'm saying? So I do. On Valentine's Day, I be chilling because I mean I love my son, but one is enough, right? You don't want to just every time it's Valentine's. No, you're not more Scorpio. Sorry, I know you're a Scorpio, but we good. We good on (laughs) y'all. We good on y'all. I dated two of them. We good. You could do. I think you got one more. One more Scorpio, and you know, no, that's enough. I think that shit is dead. Okay, sorry. It's, it's dead as a doornail. Um, but well, um, I got some flowers, you know, from an individual. I know. You wanna, got some whiskey. You want to nope. talk? You wanna nope. Talk? Okay. Nope. You wanna talk about nope. the mystery man with the flowers and the whiskey or no? The candy and the whiskey. No, nah, uh, we'll save that story for another day. <laughs> but um I mean, I got some flowers. So, we'll, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're behind me. They're, you know, they're, they're in the back. Um, yeah. And we'll leave it at that. Yeah. But like this, I'm probably the only person who sweated their hair out on Valentine's Day because she forgot to wrap her hair up at night and the heat was on 85 degrees. So, um, it wasn't. Yeah, that kind of sums it up. It wasn't. No, nah, I didn't do shit else. No, ma'am. Because, no, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. No, nah, it's because it's 85 degrees in here. So. Okay. Um, but I, I saw some people did. I saw Lori Harvey had a great Valentine's Day uh, with Michael B. Jordan. Uh, let's see who else is out here. Oh, Sierra and Papa Russ. Beautiful. Which, beautiful. All the time, beautiful. They're like hashtag couple goals. But for some reason, in the PMU Valley, um, I don't know. We we not we not fans. The the XY chromosome family, they're not fans of Russ. I, this shit is so fucking baffling to me. Y'all have to explain to me what would be the issue with this man loving his wife, loving his family, just being black and excellent and family or- oriented and love. And what is so wrong about that? Why, why y'all won't let, let this man love his wife in peace? Why? Why is this such a big deal? This man love his wife and his family. Why? Tell me why. Buddy literally said, I just can't see myself without my wife. And niggas went up like, like he was making a declaration on all men. Like, bro, he loves his fucking wife. I'm so confused. Next thing I know, girl, there are comments like he's a simp. I don't think he gives a shit what y'all think. Let's 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 start there because. Say what you want to say. Sierra is bad. She got a nice ass body. She's cute. Like, so what you think she's a simp? He gets to go to sleep next to Sierra with his kids every fucking night. So because he loves his wife and he's okay with professing that, that makes him a simp. That's so wild to me. Why? Why? This man loves his wife. He loves his family. Why y'all want to call the man a simp? I have no idea. I don't know even though if it matters. I mean... Let that man love his family and his kids and his wife in peace, man. It's, it's good. Because, like, what's the alternative, right? right? right. So you want him to be like, you know what? Fuck Sierra. Fuck her. Fuck her and them damn kids. Like, so it kills me when people are like, oh, you know, he takes care of future son. That man is living in his house. Yeah. Like, that little boy is growing up in his home. What do, you, what do you expect him to do? Like, my sister, my dad raised my sister. Right, she's my she's my half sister. He raised her as his fucking own. She calls him dad. 
she cried when he died. You know what I mean? Like he helped pay for shit. So I mean, yeah, her biological was around. He was kind of futurish. Kind of how did I think about? It. He was a lightweight future. Um, but um, my dad did everything for her. So to think, huh? I I, I when you I'm, say like, no, but to be like lightweight future, I'm like ooh. Oh, I can tell a mama story. So he was a police officer. And I remember she told me that he used to keep a change of clothes in the trunk in case he had to go see another bitch. Yeah, dude was the future. So he protecting and, and, what it, and serving. Oh, everybody. I got to take a sip, child. Everybody, everybody in the club getting, getting some future in the 70s. So. Not- I don't, I don't prepare clothes in the trunk, child. <laughs> in the trunk, girl. Just in case. Just in case he needs to go see somebody else that's not his wife. So I don't, I don't see a problem with Russ, you know, say, calling at his son, you know, making sure he's included in the family. Because you don't want that kid to grow up with a damn complex. I don't. Um, I'm not like, I mean, he don't, he called, you know, it's just, it's a weird dynamic. And I mean, I'm pretty sure future does or future does. Future got a thousand fucking kids. He ain't worried about that one. Uh, Mr. Garnett said, niggas is just tired of him being propped up as Mr. Super Husband. Well, what's wrong with him being Mr. Super Husband? Who else would, would, would you like for us to use as Mr. Super Husband. Who else? We can use any of them. We can use him. We can use Obama. We can, I mean, who who else would you guys like to use as a good point of reference for a good, I mean, decent, nice husband? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we talk about Obama all the time. Like, no one calls Obama a simp. Man, listen. I've never heard anybody refer to him as a simp. Even Homeboy had on mom jeans, and they didn't call him a fucking simp. Is True. it because he's from Chicago? True. Like, I don't, I don't understand. It's, it's, all, it seems like it's only Russ. And I mean, I get it. You know, maybe it's foreign because we talk about Russ a lot. But I mean, we talk about Steph Curry and Aisha. True. Um, true. But he's. I feel like out of everyone, he's the one who is most vocal. Will Smith used to be like that with Jada back in the day. He used to always like big up Jada. Um, I feel like after the um. What was it, the entanglement? Is that the word of 2020? After the entanglement, I feel like he's not bigging her up as much as he used to. But I, I don't understand, like, what's the issue? Well, Lance so- says, I don't care about Russ or Sierra. I'm just trying to help explain why niggas be going at him. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think the issue is that because everybody's so vocal about it like that? I mean, not everybody, because he's so vocal about it. Like, that's why people are so annoyed because he, you know, oh, I carry my wife's purse. And oh, my God, if I lost my wife, I don't know what I would do. Like, what's, the, what's your husband supposed to say? That's what he's supposed to say. He's supposed to say, what am I going to do if I lose my wife? We got these kids. We got this family. Like, I love my What is he I know. We got multiple kids. There's three of these little bastards right around here. Like, and they're all under, like, 14. You know, I, I help. Help, but I guess I will try my best to see if I can find other men. I'm not even gonna say like black men, other men in general who big up their wives, so that way it's not always about Russ and Sierra. But I do love Papa Russ. He's he's hashtag goals. Right, but we you know we always talk about who the super husband is, while everybody be t- <laughs> everybody be talking about uh, Russ. The super husband is. Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, God, the tennis player. Oh, oh, Ohanian, Ohanian. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, she said, I want some pasta. He said, wait a minute, I'm gonna get on this jet and go to Italy. And Serena said, I need spaghetti tonight. And he said, say less. Let's go to Italy say less tonight. <laughs> On my jet. Right. Girl, I never asked a nigga for some pop boy. What you gonna do about that, girl? And you better get to walk. Like <laughs> Lance, he yeah. is like a cornball, Lance. Somebody he's he's the extra corny over the top love you W husband. He's that cornball sitcom husband. Lance. Lance. 
He's a good husband. He's fine. It's fine. Y'all let listen. Y'all let that man love his wife and his family in peace and lead him along. Okay. So I'll say this. I, I will say this. Russ does not have an ounce of swag. And I don't think that he cares about having any swag. So I think that's why people probably uh, think he comes off corny. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of swag, but he seems like he's cool people. I don't think he cares um, about what is Quita say? swag. <laughs> Quita says, I think they have a great marriage that works for them. I think there is something a bit feminine about him, even though he plays football <laughs> with the Kanye shrug. Um, but no, I mean, and that's kind of what I'm thinking about too, is that like, he just low key doesn't have any swag about him. And I think growing up in black communities, that that's a huge thing, which kind of leads into the next story, right? It's about like women just in general, we get the whole, y'all don't want to date the good guy until it's too late. You don't want to date the guy, the good guy until you're in your thirties and in your forties, like when you're younger, you want to date the the hot boy or whatever, who's, who's a fuck boy or whatever. And I don't necessarily think that that's true. I don't. I think um, you like you want to date the person that's fun. Let's just be real. Russ probably wasn't a lot of fun. Russ doesn't look like he was turning like, up in the club. My man. <laughs> I'm just saying he doesn't look like he's about to turn up in the club. He's not going to do any of the wild shit. Just think about like who you dated in your 20s. You probably had a shit ton of fun with them. And so did a whole bunch of other women, right? Because they were fucking fun. And he just doesn't come off as that type of person to me. So I don't think that we intentionally look for a fuck boy. It's just something just like this person has a, an exuberant personality, right? They attract a lot of people, male and female, because they're enjoyable. Like the, the more quieter guys, they're not going to approach as many women as a guy who's charismatic. They're just not. Future looks like he approached every bitch on the corner. Ooh. You he do. He looks like he's going to talk to every fucking woman that walks past him. But Russ is probably going to be a little bit more intentional. He's going to get to know you. He's probably going to move a little bit slower. When you're in your 20s, you're not, you're not concerned about that. But I'm going to tell a story. Okay, because guys, when I was... It's story huh? time. It's story time. Don't worry, Tom. Get your drink. Get your drink. So when I was 22. Clink, clink, clink. Okay. Cheers. Um, so when I was 22, there was a guy, right? And I didn't know how old he was, but we worked together. And he was, I thought he was kind of goofy, right? Like, I kind of thought he was like a lame a little bit, kind of silly acting. But he was cute. He was a cute guy. Um. I don't want to say he wore me down, but it took a little bit of time to actually start dating him because he would do like goofy, weird ass shit. Like, I think I might have shared this in the group. When we were at Olive Garden, you know, we had ordered some sangria. And mind you, I found out he was nine years older than me. And we're at the table. I'm 22. On this date? Huh? You found out? On this date, yeah. No, I found out, I think, right before, this was like date number two. So I found out like right before the first date that he was nine years older than me. And I was like, oh shit, you know, black don't crack. So it's really hard to tell how old somebody is. Mm -hmm. So we're in Olive Garden and they bring the sangria to the table. First of all, it's fucking Olive Garden. What, what's the bill going to be like? $10? What, what's, what's a bottle of wine? Five. Mm -hmm. So they bring the wine to the table and he yells out, yo, I've never had wine with my dinner before. Nigga, don't tell everybody in the fucking restaurant. Nine plus right, so like you said nine plus twenty two. You said he was twenty two. Uh, I was twenty two. Yes, he was thirty one. Okay, okay, he's never. Had yeah, he yells out in the restaurant that he's never had wine with his dinner before. To at to at all the patrons in Olive Garden. To everybody, <laughs> everybody in, in the fucking Olive Garden now by Ford City. So, like I said, so in my mind, like he was, a, he was a low key lame, right? So. Valentine's Day weekend because we we I, like I one of those guys like I, I got to know him a little bit better like yeah he's kind of goofy but he's actually super fucking sweet so for Valentine's Day he um he bought me a car he called me he's like come downstairs I have your gift and I'm like why it's like super early so like, just come downstairs 
I have a gift. So it's like this old 11, like 12 year old Toyota. But I didn't have a car at that point. So I was happy to have anything. So I was like, yo, you bought me a car? That's what's up. He's like, yeah, you know, it's just our Valentine's Day gift. And um, we had plans. I had got a hotel room downtown. So we had plans to meet up later that night. Now, before this, we had gone to the auto show like two days before this as a date because he was really into cars and we had to go to the auto show. So later that night, you know, we met up at the hotel. It was really, really nice. It was the first time I shaved my chocha. Like, you know, I was a little all grown or whatever. Beautiful fucking evening. Two days later, I'm at his house. Shaved vagina top. And shaved vagina top. Yup. Y'all know y'all don't be liking that shit bushy. I was trying, I was trying to be an adult. I was 22. I was trying to, to you know, level the fuck up. So um, I'm going through. Oh, he had some chocolate. He was like, oh, I have some chocolate. You know, the chocolate was half off at the Walgreens. So I bought some some candy, watched her up to the candy. And I was just like, that's so fucking weird. Like it wasn't like kit like Hershey's kisses in the bag. It was like the Russell Stover's box of chocolates that people typically buy for you. So something told me, girl, just go through his computer really quick. You know he keeps all his photos. So I go through his computer. He is at the auto show on Valentine's Day with his baby mama. And I was like, so wait, so this nigga comes over, drops off the car in the morning, takes his baby mama out for a date in the afternoon, I guess maybe for dinner, and then needs to be at the hotel at night. Hey, these men know how to keep it busy. They are busy, 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 busy. Yes, he got time. He had time that day. He had. Yes, Liz. Something told me. <laughs> Women have that that intuition. You just fucking know. You just fucking know something's not. Something told you. Yeah, let me check to see what's going on out here. Yeah. Let yes, me, we, so, we, you know that shit is not fucking normal. Have you ever bought yourself a Whitman sampler just for you, randomly? Something. Sorry, go ahead, Crystal. The spirits, the the fuck boy, the fuck boy gods tell her to open that goddamn computer to see what's going on. So he had planned an entire Valentine's Day with you, while simultaneously planning an entire Valentine's Day with his kid's mother. Because he got time today. Because he got time. I mean, it's 24 hours in the day, right? So you open the email. and I mean, you open his computer. And what do you find? Pictures of him and her at the auto show. And we had just been to the auto show two days before. He got so some more auto He didn't see all the cars, girl. He got some more auto You're right. He had to pretend like he hadn't been before. <laughs> he had to pretend like. He had to pretend like he hadn't gone this yeah. year. He got some more cars he need to see now. Don't do that. That man got more stuff he got to do. He done bought you the car. He said, listen, listen, listen. I bought you the car. Go find you some more. That's what I thought that was to do, girl, because I got some, I got plans. So he goes, he leaves, he comes back to the hotel. Yeah, so to the hotel. So he spent the night at the hotel. I don't know what he told this woman where he was going. On Valentine's Day, I, like, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I feel like we may have had a conversation because because me and me and the baby mama have we had a, a run in or two, um, but it was one of those things like when guys say y'all don't pick the right y'all y'all don't want to date the the quiet lame. So Buddy was a lame, and I dated him, and this was even this wasn't even the the biggest shit that I ran into with this guy. Like we had a. a he was like future man. Like, he had people popping. No, not even future. He was Tiger fucking Woods. The jungle was Tiger Woods. The documentary. I didn't see the documentary. Yeah, you gotta go see the documentary. Yeah. Woo. Listen. So, what do you say to him when he comes back from? I mean, when he gets to the hotel room, like when he comes back to you, what do you? I mean, do you confront him in the hotel? Well. I didn't find out about the, the pictures until a couple of days later at his house. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I didn't know that night. I found like we went to the hotel on a Friday. I don't think I saw, I found the pictures until Sunday, Sunday, Monday, 
when I was like, oh, nigga. but whatever I said, I know I left. I went home in my car. Someone asked that I keep the car. Yes, I kept the car. Yes, I kept the car. Y'all, it was a Toyota, so it lasted till the end of time. forever. <laughs> Lulu, Tiger was lame. He, t Lulu, Tiger was lame. Fam, you fell asleep with the phone on top of you. When you got 130 bitches in that phone, you fell asleep with the phone on. You fell asleep with the phone on top of, like, really, like, out so your wife could find it? Lulu, that's lame. You got 100 bitches in your phone. How you just take a nap real quick with your phone out, unlocked, ready to go? But, wait, pause. Like, did anybody ever want to date Tiger? Like did anyone really? look at Tiger like, yes, he's I mean, aside from no. the the, mo uh, the multitude of, of blonde women that he dated. But like I don't know. In the documentary, they talked about him being, you know, uh high school, college, but they never really got into whether or not he had a lot of women or not. So I don't know. But I'm quite sure once that Nike contract came into play, now it was go time. Yeah, I'm with you, Tanisha. He he, just not to black chicks. Like I think to the the blonde variety, he probably wasn't a lame. But if Tiger tried to talk to any of us, I'm I'm pretty sure the majority of us would have been like, nah. He had, he talked funny and shit. He <laughs> acted weird. Like I don't I don't I personally would, was never attracted to Tiger. And I like weird people. Like you know I love Childish Gambino. That's my baby daddy. Ooh. But <laughs> why are you coming? So uh, but I'm. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry. Um, yes, Lance. Um, he bought me a car and we dated less than a year when he gave me the car. He he bought me a lot of stuff though. He bought me a TV, a DVD player. Like he, he did a lot of shit. But he also did a lot of shit for a lot of girls at the same time. <laughs> I mean. Lance, you know how many Toyotas he was probably handing out? This nigga was like, You get a car, you get a car. <laughs> this, this nigga was Oprah Winfrey, so you get a toy. That's why he was at the auto show. He trying to see. He trying to figure out what he trying to give his women. Dang. What they say? I agree with you that uh, that Tiger was a product of his environment, Lulu. And yes, Tanisha, by the time he got to college, oh, they know. The, the, the blind girls know. It don't take them no time. They can smell money. I need that. I feel like I need that ability i don't smell money i just i just smell broke shit but <laughs> they can they can smell money they can definitely smell money listen he didn't he didn't have all those women until he was tiger woods it wasn't like well at least in a documentary it wasn't like he had a whole bunch of women but prior to that i mean he didn't have that many but once he signed that contract i mean let's go tiger yeah, they don't care they do not care. You have to like see if you look at the women that like the the cute. Oh, go to L.A. Look who, who the the young blonde women are on. They are on the arms of people who are sugar ba sugar daddy candidates. They do not care because they they have long long vision. I don't I don't have that kind of long vision. Who I can't see past wrinkle balls. You know what I mean? But like, <laughs> true. You have to learn. You have to learn. I'm okay though. I feel like single life is okay for me. You think so? Sometimes. Sometimes. It depends on the day. Today it's okay. She on her line. I didn't need to dig my she on she on well, I didn't have to dig my car out, so it's she okay today. Articles, internet line. See y'all, this is a relationship girl. She lying. She I lying. love relationships, but I don't I don't think I meet people who love relationships. That I like. Let me let me add that caveat that I like. That's also a topic that came up. Um on a separate podcast that I listened to and they were talking about how women do not date men that like them. So I'm sure that there are plenty of men who you know who try to talk to you that like you, but women stray away from them. They do not date them. They do not go out with them. I'll, I will use you as an example because this is absolutely true. I know. Don't take a sip. Take another one. Take one more. Yeah. 
There are many people that I know. No, okay, let me not say many people. There are a few men that I know that I don't know them personally, but they seem for outwardly appearances to be like good guys, like decent guys. And you literally want to have nothing to do with them, like nothing. Yes, because they blow my life. <laughs> Because I know who you're talking about, and they blow talking, up you my life. know one person I'm talking about because there are like three. I know or a four couple. People that I know I'm a couple of people I'm talking, talking about, and they all blow my life. I just want somebody that's just as chill as me. Like I don't like to argue, and I don't like to have like dumbass conversations. I mean, someone literally talked to me for four hours about why I don't like them. Bro, I told you I don't fucking like you, yo. Like, there's, what, there's nothing to converse about. I don't need to explain to you in detail all the reasons why I don't like you. And I think it's very odd that you want to have that discussion right now. So I just, I like, I like things to be easy. I know Lance says you want things to be a challenge, but no, I don't want a challenge. I just want shit to be really fucking easy. So. No, Karen wants a nice guy in, in, in the box of, how, let's see, how can I put this? She wants, what's, what's the little guy you date? I mean, the little guy you date, the little guy you like, Childish Gambino. She wants Childish Gambino in Drake's body and persona. Like, she wants the good guy in the other guy's packaging. Like, that's how that's yes. what she wants. Like, she doesn't want that guy in that packaging and that guy in that packaging. She wants that guy in, in the other person's package. So, that's that's her Well, not, not Drake, because I don't like the light skin. He, like, okay. Well, that's Childish kind of, Gambino and Idris Elba's body. That's what she's looking for. She's looking for a nice guy in some, in another package. A nice chocolatey guy. <laughs> he doesn't have to be tall like Idris, like. But you know, I like a little bit of chocolate, and I need some. I'm a I'm a nerd, right? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm not a fucking nerd. So I need someone that's going to be comfortable with all with, with the nerd shit that I'm into. So yes, I I would like him to be nice looking. And also be okay with me being a fucking nerd. Lance, what are paint by numbers, niggas? You should have been in here. You should have been on here. What are paint by numbers, niggas? You want her to just create her own boyfriend and paint her own boyfriend? That's what you want her to do? Lulu said, just We want the foundation of a nigga you like, but the ability to fill in the rest. Okay. No, he can, he can be weird or like have other weird shit. Because there have been guys that I have really liked that necessarily didn't fit everything. Like and, and Crystal, you know this. I'd be like, mm, he has like seventy five percent of the shit that I like, and there's twenty five percent I'm not. But it's okay because I know that Childish Gambino inside of Idris Elba, if he existed, he's probably been snatched up by a blonde chick twenty years ago. So True. I I know that I'm not going to get everything that I want, but I feel like I can get close. Can I get fifty six percent? I agree. I think that's what it's all about, trying to get as close as you possibly can to the things that, are, that you really want or are very important to you. So do you agree that instead of women, women just dating the men that like them and then going from there, do you agree that women tend to not and they kind of date fuck boys instead like they kind of date men that they but know. I, date, I feel like i date both i i give those you know guys and i know i don't like I, them i'll cut you some slack you do yeah i try because i'm like i can't be like this right like i'm going to try to be open and even though i might not be sexually attracted to them if their personality is dope enough i can actually look over that because um who is it the boyfriend that my college boyfriend that you love I did not find him attractive. Everyone would be like, oh, so-and-so is so cute. Oh, I cute. never found him sexually attractive. Never. But I loved his personality. Fucking Scorpio. But I loved his personality, and we had a lot of fun together. So I was able to get past the fact that I didn't think he was cute, even though, like, literally everybody else thought he was cute. Uh, yeah, we had a couple of girls come up to me about that shit, too. But, like, I give people a chance, but... If you I if I can't if I can't connect with you on the personality level, I cannot look past that shit. So I can look past looks. I can look past you know whether you you know you might be a little chubby or you might be way too skinny. I can look past all of that, but 
if I feel like we can't sit down and chill and I don't want to kill you, then I, I don't I can't do it. I'm I'm proud of you because you do. You try. You not you not out here just like, oh, um, I'm gonna date all the fuck boys. You date fuck boys, good guys, nice guys, you date everybody. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guys. equal oh. opportunity. And yes, Lulu, we are way too old to be settling for random shit. Cut that <laughs> shit out as soon as you realize that shit ain't for you. Thank you. And that's why I had the crystal asked, how was my Valentine's Day? I spent it talking to someone for four hours explaining to them why I didn't like them for four fucking hours. Ooh. Rough. See? Cause she, they, you, shit. you want to know why? Because she gives everyone a chance. That's why. A fucking chance. That shit is dead. I'm not dating anybody in 2021. We single all year long. <laughs> what, Liz? We what? single all year long. It's me. It might be me. I'll take, I, you know what? I'm not going to be one of those people that won't take responsibility. It might be me. Or but might I'm be not complaining. It's probably huh? them. It's probably, probably them. them. Yes, yes, yes. It's probably them. So I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I do think that women, the men that really like us, that we know really like us, for the most part, I'm not going to speak for all women, but for the most part, we are, we can be, you know, sometimes like, eh, I don't know. I know I'm guilty of it. So sometimes women are just like, uh, I mean, yeah, he's a nice guy, but, but sometimes though, to be honest, he is in the packaging of something that, or, you know, that you wouldn't necessarily date or you're not really always that attractive to. So I get it, man. Either way. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, Lolo says he believes we can spot fuck boys in the beginning. Sometimes we can. Sometimes we can. Sometimes like they just really good at hiding that fuck boy shit. You don't you really don't know. Cause the, the guy that gave me a car, I promise to God, like when I would tell people the stories of the shit I was going through, no one believed me because he did not look like he was capable of that type of fuckery. But for the most part, yeah, we can kind of tell. No, I'm a fuckboy bloodhound. I you see didn't it. catch that one. Huh? You didn't catch that one, nigga. Which one? The one that, get, that bought me the car. Oh, that's because we were kids. <laughs> Today? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. No, no, no. We were kids. And to be honest, he would he presented himself in such great packaging. To this day, he is my favorite boyfriend of yours, even though he shouldn't be. But he presented himself in such great, great. He he lit he did everything. He presented himself in great packaging. So he would have been hard to detect either way. But at 39, nah. I can smell. I smelled you before you before you even came in the room. But I mean, you deal with enough fuck boys. I mean, true story. It gets easy, you know. Yo, fuck boys. Yeah, I get I care and oh, he a fuck. Nah, oh, let him go. Let him go. He fuck. But I just told you his name. I can tell by his name, girl. Let him go. Damn. Uh. <laughs> oh no, no. What well, can I just no, no? She do though. That's why I always call her. But I'll be like, you know what? No. No. Let him go. Lance no. says that we Lance says we'll put up with a nigga that's shaky from the jump for a year and think he's the problem. <laughs> I don't know. Like, so when I was younger, yes. Now that I'm older, no. Like after a couple of weeks, I'm like, nope. Nope. I'm straight. Ooh, that's I'm good on that. That's what age gives you. Age gives you this discernment. Oh, it's amazing. It's so amazing. But yeah, listen, I'm a, I try to stay fuckboy free, try to stay away. I believe that most of y'all are fuckboys, so I just stay out of the way. He does. Completely. I mean, change my yeah. mind. I can't wait till y'all change my mind I, today. I am looking forward to it. So hopefully you guys continue to fuck with us on Mondays because, um, I really want to get into like the meat of some of the conversations that Crystal and I have and y'all can see <laughs> her fucking views on niggas in general. Um, 
if you know me, you know my views on niggas in general. <laughs> right. So if you don't, y'all, I mean, that's going to be a heavy drinking night, whatever day we do that show, because the shit is wild. The shit is wild. Like, we have long conversations because the shit is fucking wild. Um, we have long conversations because Karen believes she is very pessimistic and open and am i pessimistic i mean optimistic i'm sorry i'm pessimistic she's optimistic about love and da- she is so cute y'all love and dating and relationships she's just like you know someone's out there for me girl and i'm just gonna sit here and wait and for my knight in shining armor and he's gonna she's just so I am love and love is me and love lives within me and I'm gonna share this love. And every day I be like, who gonna tell her? Like, who is gonna tell her? So that's where a lot of our uh, discussions Discussions. come from. (laughs) That's where they come from. Thank you, Tanisha, it's who we are. Vegetarians are optimistic by nature. And also, I just feel like- I'm trying to blame that on y'all Zodiac. Don't try to say it's because y'all Sagittarius. We are, we are optimistic. I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to sit here and believe that I'm just going to be saddled with dealing with whack Negroes for the rest of my life. Because I know people who are married who are somewhat happy. So I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily want to be married, but I would like to have a companion. So I just don't want to sit here and believe that I'm not going to have a fucking companion at 40. Like I'm, I hopefully have another oh, no, 20, no. 30 years. You will, be, you will be not short of companions. That will never be the problem. Now, will they be companions that you want or need or <laughs> are beneficial to your life? That's where the shit gets sticky. You will not be short of companionship, I promise. That's never going to happen. Now, when they get to be, when it's companion time and they get to be close to you and talking to you and all of that, you're going to be like, wait, what? What? Oh, and also, hey, Shanae. Thanks, Pooh, for checking in. Love you, babe. Um, and yes, Tanisha, love is out there for everybody. So I'm just going to continue it to be optimistic. If it doesn't happen, it, I'm not going to be sad about it. So let me say that. Like, I'm not going to sit here and boo that I'm fucking single. But I'm, I'm going to keep my options open and see what happens. Exactly, Lance. That's, uh, let, me pin your, let me pin your comment to the top. Let's pin that shit to the top. She's such a fucking hater. <laughs> 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 and fuck you, Bobby. Love will find a way, face ass, if it will. <laughs> Lindsay, are you happily are you happily single? I don't know if that's for me or for you. Um, Bobby, that's her. Love will find a way. She she is so it cute. Will. It will. Well, I mean, you I'm know what? It also comes. It will. It's just who who you. It's gonna be a lot of alcohol involved to get there, y'all. I don't know. Well, I put but, it like this. I had really great role models. I'm telling you, like even my brother, I remember my brother had a conversation with my father because my he told my mom about it. And you know, our brother's on marriage number three. Like, this is just who we are. We got to find it. Gotta gotta love. It He's, He's got to find it. Even my sister is <laughs> optimistic, right? But my brother was just like, if I could find somebody to make me as happy as um, my mom has made you, then I'm, I'm 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 all in. I'm in for it. Like my parents had an amazing relationship, an amazing relationship. So they did. They did. So if I could find you, but I don't you know have what? that exact relationship. Right. That's probably why you're so optimistic because you grew up looking at this your entire life. So you are, I guess, optimistic because that's beautiful. I guess you know. I take back bothering you and fucking with you day after day after day because if if the example is your parents i mean what's wrong with that i guess you're right so listen i'm gonna be here with the alcohol through the mess so i mean until you find him i'm keep the you know the jameson so but until then 
But I get we get fucking stories for the show. So it's a true. win-win situation. Yeah, that's true. Lynn said, Am I happily single? Um yes. Yes, yes. Is. Yes, yes. But the flip side to that is if you if y'all knew that all the shit that I've been through, then y'all would see why, you know. I mean, the stories will unfold over time, but as they do, then you'll you'll completely understand why I'm good. Like it's a lot, y'all. It's a lot of work. A lot, a lot. Y'all don't ever want to talk about the work. It's a lot of work. This ain't just it's Valentine's Day and I got balloons and shit. Like this shit is real live work. And as I get older and my kid gets older, it just I can't I I, I don't have that kind of time to dedicate to relationships like I did when I was younger. Like I don't have the time or the energy to give them like I used to before I, you know, I had a kid and all that. So yeah, I'm happily single because the work that it is going to entail to be in a relationship is just whew, it's a lot, man. It is a lot. So yes, I that's true. That see. is true. Okay. Um, and yeah, up? dating a stag is, is. I'm not even going to pretend. I tell people all the time. I know I can be a, a bit challenging and difficult, and it probably comes from my. I don't give a fuck. Pops up really quick. Like it doesn't take. It doesn't take me long. Like we could be in the middle of the argument, and I just realize in the middle of the argument, it's a fucking stupid ass argument. <laughs> and I'd be like, yo, I'm done. And apparently that really pisses people off. So, yes, dating Sages is not for the weak of heart. And we do get bored really quickly. Um, so know, there's, just, there's so much stuff out there. This ain't no Malcolm and Marie shit. And you, you'll you be arguing for the Hell no. Nah. <laughs> why y'all try to give you? Why would y'all try to give me to watch that? I'm not watching these fools argue for three hours. What the hell? I didn't make it all the way through. Because I sat there. The sash kicked in me like, I'm not about to sit here and argue with your ass and make you this blue box macaroni and cheese at three in the morning. Bro, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to tell you in the morning what's wrong and we're not going to argue about it. And as soon, as soon as you try to bring up some personal shit on me, you you want to bring up my past crackhead behavior? Oh, bro, I'm out. I'm packing my bags. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even here for this. You want to bring up my past crackhead behavior? Yeah, like, bro, I know I'm a crackhead. You don't got to bring this up. So every time we have a fight, you're going to be like, oh, remember that time you was a crackhead? Kiss my ass, nigga. So, no, no, it was never a sad movie. movie. Bro, was about me. No, it wasn't. It was about this other crackhead. I know. What? Girl. <laughs> How many crackheads do you know, man? It's not about you. I know a lot of crackheads. <laughs> I know a lot of crackheads. Like, maybe you need to look into yourself. Although, I said this. He is either an Aries or he's a Sagittarius. But whatever he is, Why he's a fucking fire sign. Why y'all trying to figure out he, this? Because he was going below the belt. And that is pure fire sign shit hitting below the belt. He was reading her to the filth. To fucking filth. I was like, oh yeah, he he's definitely. Because my dad is a, was a Sag. And I used to be like, damn, dad, like you tweaking right now. Like, for fucking filth. So yeah, he he was either a Sag or an Aries. Lance, did you say single with or without penis? Without, of course. I'm celibate, baby. What you mean? What you mean? I'm celibate. We're gonna have to block Bobby. <laughs> we not blocking Bobby. Bobby's a good time. Bobby, Karen's trying to block you. And even though you're the direct Jack Tripper to our Chrissy and Janet, I'm Janet, obviously. You're Chris. There's no way you're Janet. Cause, Cause you'd be like, okay, with well, Bobby's bullshit. You'd be like, oh, Bobby. Like, and I'd be like, nah, nigga, it's not fucking Bobby. Bobby. You're definitely Chris. You'd be so excited Bobby. to talk to Bobby. Okay. Bobby. Bobby. Yes, Leroy. Celibate. Yeah. Well, that's hard to believe. Yeah. Yeah. It's been some time. Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Leave Karen. Leave Bobby alone. All right, I'll leave Bobby alone, but I do want to get into, because I know we, we don't have too much time left, um, that you got an email? I do. I do. Okay, so let me read. Send your questions, concerns, topics, stories. Please send your stories to askavixen at gmail.com. We will read them aloud. 
I will give you a fake name. I mean, but unless you tell me to give your real name, because I mean, you want the smoke, I'll give your real name. But otherwise, I will give you a fake name. All right. So the question is, hey, Vixens, I've been dating this guy for about two months now, and I'm wondering when is a good time to have the what are we discussion? I don't want to jump the gun and ask too soon. And I also don't want to wait until it's too late either. What do you ladies think? Two months dating. When should when should I should what should I do the so what are we? Two months. You know, that conversation actually scares the shit out of me. Like I hate having that conversation. <laughs> I do personally. I hate it because sometimes I remember the, I don't know. I like, almost said you don't remember that. I was like, <sighs> yeah, like I don't. I sure did. I was a <laughs> What are we? We are we? Do we gotta be something? Yes, Crystal. Like, <sighs> what? What do we have to be? We have to be something. This has been going on for a long time. Like, we have to be. <sighs> what? I what? Think- why do we have to be something? It's, it's, I don't know. It's just such anxiety. Like, I think the best way to kind of get around that is when you first start dating is to talk about what your intentions are. True. And I think that makes it a little bit easier. Like, if you, if you're like dating, you're like, hey, you know, look, I'm just looking for a fuck buddy, you know? So when you start, when you move to that level, you already have an idea. Like, okay, he already told me. Or she, Which, by the way, that this is what they want. You. Men seldom say on day one, I just want to have sex with you, which would make a lot of things easier. I know that y'all a lot think, easier. I know that y'all think that y'all not gonna get vagina if y'all lead with, you know, I find you attractive. I just want to have sex with you. I know, I know, I know, I know. But if she really wants to have sex with you, I mean she will lead with that. Like I'm just here for a good time. Not for a good time, time. not a long time. <laughs> A good time, not a long time. So, what do you think about the two months? <sighs> this I don't is what know. I, think. I just see. I think that men very early um, let you know what time it is. You know, like I think that you'll know very early if he is looking for something serious, whether or not he says it or not, or, you know, has some long drawn out conversation with you about it. I think that very early you would be able to tell whether or not he is looking to, you know, just have a good time because the flip side to that is if he really wants to be in a relationship, he will let you know really most of the time, you know, really, really, really early. So I think two months is a perfect time to get into whether or not, you know, are we going anywhere with this? Are we just having a good time? You know, so I think two months is a decent time to talk about what it is we want to do or what you want to do. What you think? What? I think. What? <laughs> no, I'm what? just trying to think like when, when I've been asked that question before and I was just like, like w- around what time was it that the guy asked me? And I feel like it was definitely well past the two months and I still fucking panicked. Um, but I mean, I do agree. Like if you are looking for something, right? Let, let's say you are looking for a relationship and you want to solidify that this, and, and you want to have that awkward conversation. Um, I think two months is, is a good time to bring it up. Yes. Because like this one, you're, you're definitely, you know, you're getting feelings for somebody. Um, you and might have met their friends and family. Yeah, y'all be there. Yeah, sometimes people get feeling, yeah, feeling really quick. Ma'am, I don't know. I'm out the game, so tell me something. I know. I don't know. It's well, like, I mean, it depends. Like, like if you're spending a lot of time together, if you're together every day, and you do. I mean, people have moved in, in you know, true. in three, four months of, of dating. So That's yeah, so at, at two months, you might be starting to feel something for somebody. So, you know, if you feel like you want to take that to the next level, I, I think that's the perfect time to ask. But if you're just kind of happy where things are, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask personally. Well, rock the like, I'm cool with Unless you yeah, want like, a relationship, telling you girls going to be some hard work. You ready to do some hard work, then yeah, go to ask them. But I mean, if shit is cool the way it is already, just 
let it flow organically organically bobby no relationships bobby god nobody feels sleazy we're old now we don't feel sleazy about anything anymore that all of that women don't want to be sleazy and they don't want to be called a hoe and that well, shit's out the window yeah. we old now we really don't give a we damn what we gonna do. right we don't care call us whatever you want to and you'll be back over here tomorrow who cares but yeah, I think two months is good. If you if you feel in your spirit to go ahead and have that, you know, hard conversation, go ahead. Talk about it. Hard and challenging. <laughs> hard and fucking challenging. I mean, but if he say, Yeah, girl, I'm ready for this relationship, and now you're in a whole ass relationship, girl. Don't, don't, don't write me, cuz child. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to give advice and then be like, shit, but I mean, sure, I'll you, that for me, girl. you go fuck around and beat and have a whole ass man and then you go have a whole lot of work to do, girl. So go ahead. Open that kid if you want to. Go ahead. Well, I wish you luck and I hope that in a couple of weeks, you'll write us back and let us know what happened because I'm curious to see like how this kind of turns out. Uh, I'm in. Okay. I hope she follows through. Girl, write us back. Let us know. And again, if any of you have any questions, stories, uh, topics, uh, anything else you want to discuss or talk about, or you know, anything you want to say, hit us up at askavixen at gmail.com. Again, I will keep, protect your anonymity, anonymity, and I'll give you a fake name. This was JT. This was from JT. It's not her real name, but Real ass bitch. Was, it's a city girl. Hey. Real ass bitch. Give a fuck. I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, her name is <laughs> JC. So guys, write us, let us know. Questions, concerns, topics, we'll discuss. We'll get to it. Okay. Well, I think that's all that we have today for our first show. Thank you so much for joining us. I know. Um, we hope that you come Child, back. We have plan, man. That shit went back so fast. <laughs> It does. Dang. How already? I know y'all got shit to do. Y'all got sh snow to shovel. Y'all kids got to get up in the... Like, like, I don't got kids. Kids got to get up and go to school in the morning. I ain't got no damn kids. I'm going to be drinking. <laughs> right. Uh, send us some feedback. Let us know what y'all thought of the first show. I am so excited to hear about everything. Thank you so much for getting your drink on. The fact that y'all drink bourbon is still crazy to me but okay um but yeah hit us up let us know what y'all think thank you so much for kicking it with us and hanging with us and joining thank you yeah thank you guys and don't forget on mondays we drink bourbon so have your bourbon ready chris still's probably going to have other drinks too but i will always be drinking bourbon with the ladies if you don't want to drink i mean do y'all want me to keep giving y'all bourbon can we get some rum and some tequila because do your thing you can do this shit i'll still be drinking bourbon if if I start drinking Patron, it's going to be some stories in this bitch. Maybe we should keep it at bourbon. What you think? Maybe. Um, Bobby, we're not only wearing bras the next show. Bobby. Bobby. See, she just said. We got to block Bobby. I know. We're going to have to block, <laughs> to block his ass. Bobby. But thank you, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. We had a blast. We will check y'all out back here. Same time, same channel. Follow us at Vixen Memoirs Podcast on IG. Uh, Karen will probably make a Facebook page so y'all could write and talk some old shit. I would love to hear that. I'm interested in hearing. So hit us up. Thank you so much for watching. All right, bye, guys. See you next right, week. See you next week. <laughs>